In this video, we want to recreate the dead eye effect from the Red Dead 2 game in CapCut. This tutorial has three steps, so pick up your gun and your notebook. Step 1. We should create a light effect. Open a new project. Go to the effect section. In the light effect, select water reflection and drag it onto the timeline. In the effect settings, increase the twist and size. You can change speed too, but for me 33 is fine. Then increase the duration of the layer time. Finally, export it. The result should be like this. Step 2. Now open a new project and import your footage into the timeline. Cut the video where you want to apply the Deadeye effect. Go to the speed section, decrease the speed. Turn on smooth slow motion and choose optical flow for better result. Import the light reflection we created in the project and place it on top of the cut. In the blend mode, change it to screen. Make it slightly bigger and cut the right side because we don't need it. Now we need to keyframe the position. Move it to the left, out of the shot, and make a keyframe for the position. Then, zoom out a little bit to see the video layer better. Next, move it to the right side, out of the shot. The second keyframe is made. Resize the zoom. If it moves very fast, increase the distance between the keyframes. But now we have a little problem here. Hmm. But I know you can fix that. You're goddamn right. So, go to the mask part and choose the circle mask. Scale it. Increase the feather and change the shape of the mask. Now it's gone. Easy peasy. Okay, now we should change the color. Select the second video. In adjustments, increase the temperature to get a yellow color. You can change other settings to get the best results because videos may be recorded in different types of lighting situations. You can change hue, saturation, highlight, contrast, and shadow too. But the most important part you should definitely add is the vignette. It adds some shadow around the corners to increase attention on the subject. Now, we need a transition between the real world and the dead world. For that, use the Mix Transition. Go to the Transition part, in the Overlay section. Add the Mix Transition and put it between the video layers. The last step is to add a sound effect. In the Audio part, Sound Effects. In the search type Whoosh. Depending on your video, you can use another sound too. I chose Whoosh with Echo. Put it under the cut time and decrease the volume. And done. Now you have the dead eye effect. Don't forget to like my video, subscribe the channel, and hit bell for new tutorial. And as always, stay creative. True.